Bones are amazing things. They hold us up. They support us. They make us strong. But bones have other uses. In the past, bones were thrown by diviners, seeking out the mysteries of the future. Now the bones are cubes, made of plastic or resin. But they still reveal things to us, as they fall from our fingers and rattle across the table. The story becomes clear. Welcome to Bone Throwers Theater, an RPG actual play podcast. Welcome back to Bone Throwers Theater. My name's Jeff, and I played Jer. I just pulled water out of a man, Lynn. This is Johnny playing Chime North. This is Ellie playing Archie. This is Aaron playing Sam Valouge. <laughs> and this is Jeremy playing Julian Bubble Boy Elix. <laughs> <laughs> you get a fake point for actually saying it right. <laughs> I got a fake point for saying my name. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is low. My name is Jordan, and I'm setting the bar apparently really low tonight. Unless Except you're taking a comment. shot with a rifle. <laughs> You know what? Pistols ain't better. I can taste that tea from here. <laughs> and it's got a little salt in it. <sighs> so, previously on Bone Thrower's Theater, you shot someone. Well, no, you didn't shoot someone. Thanks. Ellie shot one. Thanks. Everybody else shot someone. <laughs> Everybody else shot somebody, except for the guy who rolled a 38! <laughs> anyway. So what do you want to do? The idea is Julian knows what happens when a proxy oh. is killed. Oh, there right. is a violent reaction according to that element. Oh. So air, Julian is expecting this massive gust of wind just to like obliterate the area. Yeah. Um, we saw that in Abel. Yep. And that's, also that's why Julian was shouting for everybody to hold on. And have we learned, is it in... Direct correlation to the power of the elemental. Because, so with uh, Grandpa in the first season. Gaspar Neri? Gaspar Neri. Yeah. It was just like a little tree that was growing out of him. But then with Abel, it was this massive tree and Some wind and yeah. water and. Yeah, like so is it, in, is it directly a correlated to the powerfulness? I'm um, just asking. Hints at story points that were dropped in season one. Remember we said there was a hole poked in the dome of Greenhaven? Yeah, that was when... That was when Julian persuaded the fire elemental to disbond from his mother. Okay. So Julian thinks it's there's a direct correlation. How long until you reestablish yourself, Sam? It's five rounds. Or until I end it. How many runs have happened since then? Just one, right? One. We'll go ahead and RP this out. Okay. Because it sounds like it would be a fun scene. Okay. What is there to hold around? Hold on around you. Um, we're in other a, people. We're in an alleyway. A fire escape. Okay. And a handy uh, rope that I can tie myself on with. If bear was here, a dumpster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Archie, you were out in the middle of the road because you had started walking towards where Sam and Del were. Mm-hmm. So, is there anything around you that you could hold on to? I'm going to have to try to bear my ground. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and say that we make a roll. I'm mm-hmm. still incorporeal. Yes. Thank you, sir. I'm just pointing that out. You're excused. You've been turned into a purple cow. You may leave. (laughs) Can I go home now? (laughs) Anyone else? Yes, yes. Anyone else? No, I'm good. The whale. Julian is also going to disconnect from everybody. Okay. So what are we rolling? I would say that you are probably rolling physique. Well, before we had said stamina. The stamina works too. Same thing for me. Oh, look, I died. I call a six. Yeah. Eleven. Twenty-three. Gosh. I rolled a six. Woo! <laughs> so who got above a six? You got tied with a six. And tie goes to a defender, right? 
you want to give me a faith point, you'd be fine. And what would happen to me if I didn't? You can roll a character point and get above a six. That's right. There you go. Oh, look. Hey, it's a nine. <laughs> there is a pretty big gust of wind, but it only lasts a few seconds. When it passes, there's a odd smell of ozone to the air. What would you like to do next? Grab the body and get under. Really wants to go to Disney World. Which body? Hmm. Dell's. You want to go run over and grab Dell's body? I'm going through his pockets. Julian, as he approaches, is like, "We can do that on the way. We got to go. We got to go now." Okay. You start hearing a siren in the distance. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like an air raid type of siren. Let's play some Ninja Turtles and uh. Yep. <laughs> Back to the sewers. Yep. So, is there a sewer entrance close by? No. There, what? There should be a sewer entrance pretty close by since we are near a aqua rail station. Exactly. Three blocks away. Okay, fine. But the one that was right outside the D20 cafe. Yeah, that one got in a sharp. So we gotta go three or four blocks. Spotlights start hitting the dome. Julian is going to not like shouting, but aggressively saying to everybody, "Move, move, move!" I'm moving, moving, moving. Grabbing the body with you. Yeah. We're cutting it off. Hey, uh, Archie, can you uh, carry this body? What about the other guy that just marked himself? I don't care. He's yeah. not as important. I don't no. care. Yeah. Yeah. This is Julian. I don't care. Oh, let's go. I don't care. Yeah. I'm just curious. Side note: I've lost my connection. With Huracan? Yes. Okay. What, what, what do you want me to do? What, what am I doing? What? Carrying the body. body. We need to move now. Uh, what happened to him? You killed him. Let's go. And Julian starts to move. He's not waiting. Archie picks up the body. Okay. Have to roll. Go ahead and roll physique. physique. Pick up the body. This should be pretty easy. Roll physique. Roll up. That's why I turned <laughs> I, I, I couldn't carry it. Our most physical. Nice. Way. Nice. Yay. Twenty-six. <laughs> Twenty-six is fine. So you, you you scoop up the body. Everybody, roll to run. Jeff, run. Yay! Where's running? I get to roll again. Running. Run. Yes. Running. Oh, is oh my gosh! Physique. Yes, this is awesome. It's physique. William wasn't playing around when he said we need to move. There's can a I, reason that Chime was not a fuel operative. Can I fly instead? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't see, I don't why, see why not. So I'm going to use a big push of wind and summoning wind to push me along. Eighteen twenty-one. A little boost to our movement speed. Okay. You're flying. So what what did you get? Julian. 18. 21. 21. 6. Numbers. <laughs> nice. <I see> nice. <laughs> Julian is booking it first, I would imagine. Archie. 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 Carrying a body. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinting away. I like feel like we like carry bodies body. around a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot more than normal people ever do. A lot more than this campaign. I've carried my share of bodies. Mm-hmm. This campaign. Mm-hmm. I've carried my share. We need none. <laughs> yep, couldn't even carry a five year old. Archie goes first. <laughs> Archie goes first. <laughs> I think Julian comes second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then Sam yep. flying overhead like Iron Sam. And then we have <laughs> Jer and Chime making. Chug it along like the rhinoceros from Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> You all make it to the sewers just in time. You can hear boots thudding overhead just as you get to the bottom of the ladder. And you're back in your favorite place in the city. The sewers. Well, why don't you now? Go get Bear and Katari. Yeah, we gotta get out of this city. Agreed. Never thought I'd say it, but agreed. Question is, what we could do once we're outside the city? It's not like we can get a, a ride on Zeppelin or anything. Bases are all over the place. Maybe Serrani 
she recommended getting us to the to the animal preserve south of here. It's a far distant south. Uh, yep. We're saying this as we're walking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're not just standing still. <laughs> All right. We make it back to the school. Yes. All right. Yes. You make it back to the school, and you are cool at the school. So we go to the control room, I guess, where Bear, so, we left Bear and Katari. Yep. <laughs> Julian would, would walk in first. Is Bear the only one that's conscious there? Yeah, I, Katari is not conscious at this okay. point. Okay. And he's going to slowly, he's going to walk in, hold up his hands to, to Bear. It's like, all right, don't freak out, kid. It's not what you think. Okay. And in comes Archie <laughs> with the body. That's Julian's line, by the way. Oh, it's not what you think? Yep. Yeah, I never came up with a quote. No, to your detriment. Yep. So, Archie, you come in, you put the body on the floor. It's essentially a desiccated skeleton at this point. The clothes are just kind of hanging off of the body, like really loose. Should I search the body now? Yeah, if you want. Is that a search, or am I just patting him down? Go ahead and make me a search roll. Hey, look at that. 14, 20. Cool. So what do you find? Obviously there's a helmet. Yeah, obviously I keep the helmet. Gosh. Um, I do find pictures and descriptions of all of us with additional notes. What do your notes say? So in this campaign, Sam is the one with a dossier on everybody. Sam's specifically says uh, susceptible, uh, possible, possibly able to be turned, craves power. And I also find a key. Is the key a physical key or is it a key card? I had initially pictured a physical key, so we will stick with that. Okay. I'm sorry, what, what did you ask? I mean, no one else said they were doing anything, so I'm assuming we were all standing right there. I, I would imagine. Just watching me rifle through the body. Yeah. Yeah, yeah got me there. Julian's curious of what was on the this guy. Say, yeah. yeah, so Julian wants to say, what, what's on those pictures? I pass them all to you, the whole stack. What do they, and I say, what do they say while I'm still uh, checking the body? Julian's going to read off the pictures. Okay. Um, obviously, yours would have, Sam's would have been on top. So he repeats that. It's like, uh, susceptible, maybe turned, craves power. Yeah. <laughs> Peg that. <laughs> Next up is uh, Chime. <laughs> Chime service number is on there. Um, what else? Chime, I would say... Uh, Everybody comes up with their own? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would say that, yeah, it has a service number, has um, name, the uh, list of the, all the members of my family names. So, my father and mother and brother's names on it. And their association. It would say, mild... To timid personality, Flame has hopes for him. Flips next, Jer. There isn't much. One of the article clippings that showed my face from forty years ago. Like a copy of the one that we've already seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a copy. Forty of the years one ago that was the seen. the bridge. The, the bridge. bridge. A note saying, "Is firefighter," and it has my. What ladder I was with, medical records, based on what I've done, you know, very basic information, but not much beyond that. Flips, Archie. As my occupation notes that my place of work is no longer standing, uh, notes my age, and only has records back to... Ten years ago. Julian flips to his own, um, and he's going to go ahead and just read it off. Fam is his family connection to the Rogue One. The Rogue One. Feed, and then one of the note it says, feed misinformation, tasked by the Void. So that's the dossiers that you find in the park in the pockets of Dell. And Julian's going to be like. Speak up a sec. Does anybody know what this means? The rogue, the rogue one. It means nothing to me. 
I, I couldn't tell you. That's all that I've heard before. We've seen the void before. Yes. Heard the name the void. Seen? No, Archie. You said you saw the one they called the void. Yes. What are you getting at? Well, I mean, just, we've seen that name before. The void. We've seen the flame. The sculptor. Sculptor, but we have no connection to connection. Rogue One. The Rogue One. What's the Rogue One? Could it be talking about this guy here? When you at the body? I don't think so. Rogue. Meaning it sort like, of off on their own. Yeah, it sounds like somebody who maybe left the council. If they're ta- referring to somebody from the council. And it says family know. connection. How many family connections do you have? I have no family left. Could it gives be. a snide eye a little bit to chime. Yeah, could it be chime? No. Well, it seems like they consider you rogue. But yeah. we have no family connections. Not that I'm aware of. I'm going to tag on to this. It looks like the picture they have of Julian is when he first arrived in Consiglio. When he moved from Greenhaven to Consiglio. So it's not a recent photo. Do you have any distant relatives in the other cities? I moved here because I had no family left in Greenhaven. The only family connection I can think of is, which would kind of make sense, this elemental, fire elemental that was bonded with my mother. And I assume also was bonded to Aelin. Out of game. Yeah. (laughs) Have we actually discussed that elementals keep memories from their previous Yes, we did discuss that. I mean, have we discussed that in game? game? Yeah, some, uh, not not some, not extensively. So but we did discuss it. Some. Okay, yeah. not like common knowledge. Yeah, no, Con- that, that would have that would have been one of the theories that Julian kind of yeah. threw out every okay. once in a while. And then there was also the scene where no one knew that he could see the ele- elementals at that point. Was standing there shouting to that one elemental. Yes, and yeah. that concept did come up yep. in that conversation. That's so. right. Okay. Carry on. All right, we gotta get. It's like we can mull over and process this yeah. info, but we gotta get prepared to leave. Yeah, we gotta get. Prepared. Yeah, get out of here. Exit strategy. What are we doing with this guy on the floor? Put him in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was gonna say. Put him with the other guy. It doesn't look like he's gonna be much of a a body here much longer if he keeps decomposing, decaying at the rate that he's going. I'll just be a pile of dust. Why bother moving him? Is Bear still Bear or is Bear still Serrani? Bear is Bear, unless he plugged back in. He's not plugged in at the moment. Okay. We need a way out. Um, since we're leaving the city, I'm going to scour this place and get some things that we need to survive out in the wilderness. You guys come up with a plan. I'm going to get us prepared. First things first, he's going to walk out the door and, and say, Chime, I need, your, I need your help for a second. Okay. What's up? So, out in the hallway, he's going to say, we don't know who we can trust here. No? We don't. So, I'm purposely not going to give you all the information of what I am doing, but that is to keep the group safe. I need you to at least trust that that is my intention. Okay. As long as you're with the group, I do trust that's your intention. He's going to scroll down on the... Well, not scroll down. He's going to take out a paper and pen. I need you to write on this slip of paper. Don't worry. It's safe. And sign your name. Okay. Why? Remember I said... I can't tell you all the information. Otherwise, basically, I'm trying to figure out if information gets out, we know who the leak is. Ah. Okay. I write it down. Sign my name. I say, all right, I'll be back. I fold it up and put it in my pocket. And then he's legitimately going to get some supplies from the school. 
I'm imagining that there's... He's looking for rope. He's looking for, uh, out, like, winter gear, weapons. I can't imagine there's a whole lot of... Although this was a... This was an academy, academy we, so. we already said there's a fully, like, stocked yeah. armory yeah. and, like... Yeah. Because it was a pre-military academy. Okay, go ahead and make a search roll. All right. How are we getting out of the city? 21. All right. Uh, so, like you said, there's there's some pretty good star- stock supply rooms. So it's a pretty easy matter to, to gather the supplies that you need. And, and your life as a forager outside of Greenhaven have given you a good knowledge of what you would need to survive outside of the dome. So there's, you know, parkas, snowshoes, some oxygen tanks, camping supplies, uh, tents. You know all the all that stuff that you would need, like dehydrated foods, MREs, essentially everything except a sled dog. You know. All right, he gathers what he thinks is essential, finds a cart, some duffel bags, and starts to roll all that stuff. Conspiracy board is not essential, Julian. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> not at this point. Even he would just leave all that stuff behind. Uh, which is interesting enough. He's when he rolls back into the room, he's just going to start taking that all that stuff down and putting it in a trash can, and then light it on fire. All right. So while you're out of the room, you've left the rest of your friends no to come up with a plan. But we'll go ahead and take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll discuss the planning. Hey Mets, have you ever read Dragonlance? Dragonlance, that sounds familiar. Well, it was a it was a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Yeah. That they turned into a book. Okay. And here's the crazy part though. Let, let me just pitch this to you, all right? The narrator of the book is actually unreliable. He's spinning us one story while trying to tell another, and you have to kind of piece together from contextual clues or missing information exactly what's going on. It's really, really deep and really, really cool. Really? No, I'm just kidding. It's about an annoying gnome. So it's more like my life. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have better novels than that to analyze on Alzebo's Soup, where we literally become our favorite authors by devouring portions of their brains. Devouring brains, of course, means reading books. And, and over at Alzebo's Soup, we dive deep into some of our favorite novels, especially those by famed author Gene Wolfe. If you're interested, please come check us out. We're online at alzebosoup.libsyn.com or on any of your favorite podcast hosting services. I'm sorry if I offended any Dragonlance listeners. No, you're not. And we're back. So, Julian is out of the room, leaving Jer, Chime, Sam, Bear, and And Archie. 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 And unconscious Katari. Unconscious Katari. So I don't think we're going to be able to bring Katari with us because... How are we carrying a body through, or a, a unconscious person through the city? Before we worry about that, we have to worry about how do we actually exit the city. I mean, why don't we just cut a hole in the side of the dome? I know where, there, where there's a weak spot. Of course, that part, part is probably very heavily guarded, too. Which is even more reason why... We go to the opposite side of the city. Why we have to leave Katari, because we're not going to be able to carry her through... The entire city, yeah, without raising a lot of suspicion, it's going to be hard enough as it is. Are we not traveling through the sewers? Problem is getting from the sewers to the dome. Yeah, more than getting to the sewers. Out of game. Uh huh. One thing that was mentioned when it was just Jer and Chime discussing how to leave the city, uh, Jer did suggest to Chime that he could disguise their faces. Yes. So. I forget where the bomb went off. It was over here, right? Oh, down, there. down there where it's all marked. Okay. Sam, you used to live up in this area? Yes. All right. You should be more familiar with this part of town. Yeah. If we get up there, we can. I, I can know some places where we can sneak clo- around, get close to the dome, and cut away through. I think that's our best approach, then. Cut. How are we going to cut the dome? we got a Big old fire blaster. Without setting off massive alarms. We got water and air. We got all the firepower we need to get through this dome. Where are the official entry points into the city? 
the main spokes, probably north, south, east, yeah, and west. North, south, yeah. east, and west. Correct. So we wouldn't be if we went to that area. We'd be right near one of the official entrances. We would just have to find a way to wake Katari oh. up and keep her sane long enough to get through one of the gates. Would Julian come back dur- <laughs> still during the discussion, or probably? Um, I would imagine he comes back to find everybody still in the middle of a conversation about the best way to actually get through the dome itself. So you have like one, like one person arguing precision, another person who seems to be arguing for wanton destruction. All right, so Julian. He come- said precision cutting. <laughs> he said wanton destruction. Julian comes back in and is like, all right, so what do we got? And he immediately starts stuffing stuff into bags. One of the things that he has looks like a collapsible uh, gurney. And he's going to start to prep that and get, kneel down next to Katari. So uh, I think we're going to try to uh, get through the dome. Well, we pretty much decided we're going to go up to the north end of the city for our exit. Strictly because uh, Sam knows that area. Fairly well, and didn't you used to live up in that way too? Uh, yeah, and also Katari here who used to stay up in that area. That's where we just came from. Yeah, when we had to exit the building mm-hmm. <clears throat> down the trash chute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the options are to cut our way through the dome, or attempt to sneak through the gate. Through the gate, Jer says he can hide our faces and it should last about an hour. Hmm. You can do that for everybody? Give it a try. I can certainly try it. <laughs> Alright. Is the kid coming along? Yes. Everybody. A face? Everybody's okay. gotta go. We can't, oh. leave, we can't leave anybody here. And as he we're having the discussion, Julian is prepping Katari. He's going to actually take the box... That Katari had, he's going to take the box and put in the note that Chime wrote into her pocket. So Julian is in possession of the box, but put the note in Katari's pocket. The part of the program. Yeah, the yeah. the Crom Dolby box. Yeah. I don't see how we're going to carry her all the way through the city and through the gate, even with our faces disguised, without being noticed. I mean, most people who are bringing an unconscious, carrying an unconscious person, are coming into the city, not yeah. leaving the city. Yes, true. Um, Jer, can we do anything about waking her up? I can try. Gets down. Well, no, 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 not particularly at this moment. Just when we're ready, because we may need to put her out quickly, as we did last time. And it looks at Chime. Mm-hmm. So. Only when we're about to move. And All right. It's necessary. Well, should we start making our way to north end of the city? Uh, there's a couple other things we got to do to prep. Okay. Um, what, how can I help? I'm counting on you guys because I've never been outside the city. Well, you've got one, two, three of us that have been outside the city. But I, I don't know about Archie and Bear here. If they've ever been outside the city. They don't seem to remember if they've been outside the city. Yeah. Is that right, kid? Or since now Sarani has woken you up a little bit more, do you have you been outside the city? He looks over at Archie. I'm not really sure what I can say. Um now's the time to say everything. I don't think I grew up here. Okay. All right, well, three of us, we know we have been outside the city. Yes. Jer, Sam. My job was outside of the city at Greenhaven. Okay. I've had that same job. Really? Yeah. At least once. Keep people in your secrets. I've got a lot of life I've lived. It's not like I was trying to hide it. You weren't trying to hide it? Well, I was. Yeah, thank you. (laughs) So how many jobs have you had? Too many. And not enough. Great answer. Yeah, jerk. Alright, so about the plan to get out. Where did you, Jer, where did you do search and rescue? In North Dallas area? 
And Consiglio? Please tell me. Consiglio. Specifically. It was in Winterhold. North of us. The prison city? Uh huh. Oh my gosh. It didn't last very long. Only a year. Okay. Because I don't know what search and rescue orders look like in Greenhaven. We can considerably forge some search and rescue documents to try and get out of the city. You expect that we can make. I reiterate search and rescue are bringing unconscious people into the city. No, 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 no. We're talking about waking Katari up, remember? But the other side of that is how are we going to get or forge decent papers to get any of us out by morning? I mean, I'm assuming we're not wanting to stick around another night. We can just be a family on travel. <laughs> They're not going to let anybody out of the city now. Not right now. That's why you put points at the helmet. It's like, if this means what you guys say it means, that means we have now killed two council members. They're not going to let anybody out of the city. <laughs> For the council. On pleasure. It's going to be official business and official business only. That's why I'm saying we cut through the dome. We're going to need some sort of diversion. Draw some attention elsewhere. Julian's going to lower his head and act like he's contemplating something. He's like, I may have an idea. We already blew up the other end. <laughs> so we do it again. Do you know how much massive amounts of explosive that was? Yeah. Now, what do you I, have planned? I don't even know if it's possible. And he turns to Bear. He's like, Bear, I may need you to plug back into Sarani. Okay. And Jer, I might need you to disguise my face. So Bear walks over to Sarani. Done. I don't know how long this is going to take to get this information. If you guys want to start divvying out what's here in this cart, um, find any winter gear here that fits you. Get your own personal bags packed with rations, tents, rope, all these things. I got another cart right out in the hallway with weapons. Just start to get yourselves ready. And we'll see how long this takes. Right into this. So he's going to turn to Bear and be like, All right, kid. You got somehow Sharani powered in this bank of computer screens mm -hmm. with no connection. Mm -hmm. In looking around this place, I saw some other computers. It looks like it was tied in to hard lines that are coming out of the school. Mm -hmm. Part of which is the mandatory broadcast from the council. Is there a way for us to tap into that and broadcast, but not from this location to make it look like it's broadcasting from another location? Because somehow you got power to this system mm. with no connection. Can we broadcast to another from another system without actually being there? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, was that something to ask Sarani about? Mm -mm. No? No. Unplugs him. Mm -hmm. Walks over to the helmet, picks it up, and he puts it on. My helmet. What are you, what are you doing? One second. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's just swiping his arms through okay. the air. Yeah, we can broadcast. From the helmet? Uh-huh. We. Oh, wait. Codes. Not right now. Don't mm -hmm. don't can, don't broadcast anything right now. We're not ready. Access codes. We're not. We need access codes. No. Access codes are here. Access codes for to what? what? For what? What do you want? Aqua rail. Yeah, that's what's going to be. Power grid. If we can get the aqua rail, a car specifically for us on the aqua rail. No. Because but that doesn't go outside the, the dome. It would take us to the other side of the city very quickly though. No. What no. does infrastructure mean? Oh, Power. <gasps> that wouldn't set off the alarms. It would be a nice diversion. Is there anything about, like, 
dome maintenance. These are big words. I can't read them all. Can just, I see it? Takes off the helmet. Sure. Sam grinning. Puts it on. What what does Sam see? Enter query. <laughs> <laughs> you see a, a a HUD. Okay. With an overlay of like if you looked at Julian. His personal identification identification number would show up. Name, date of birth, age, known aliases, criminal record, status. Wanted. Any criminal record? Yes. Any criminal record previous to the Black House? Yeah, I was gonna say any anything that stands out. Some minor infractions, you know, out okay. past curfew. So I, I think after I put it on, you know, and I start looking around, I think I would start making some of the same gestures that I just it, saw. Everything starts I just going saw bear, bear doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, would I have to make a tech roll to see if I could figure out what what the role I'm doing? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's making you dizzy. You start lurching around the room. Eleven. Okay. Um. You. Once you sit down, so the vertigo stops. Uh, y- you're able to, to get enough motor control to, to control what's going on. Okay. I'm looking for things like dome maintenance bay, things like dome service entry, things along those lines. Okay. You're able to find blueprints. Okay. I have blueprints here for the entire dome. So is there a easier way out than the main gate? There is no cutting required. Excellent. Does it have a uh, guard stations duty over there or anything? Are guard stations noted on the blueprint? Probably not on the blueprint, but on the military yeah. applique. So I go looking and I... Yes, I see one guard station that's monitoring one section of the wall. That we can get out of. Yes. Okay. So we have to... Uh... When Chime starts talking, I'm sure you, you like look at him, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you, and you get... So the information is all on one one portion, and then you can see Chime, and then like... His Chimes information? Pull up. Yeah. Same thing, criminal record? No. He's lived a very boring life, but it does note that he is he is related to the flame. It has ties to Project Vertiginous. Okay. Ooh. Now, it does not mention how many people will be at this maintenance. It might still be easier to go through the front if we have disguises. Do you guys want to hear the rest of my evil plan to save the world? Sure. Why not? Let's yeah. Don't. So what does the council slash... Fire Drakes want right now. What posters are all over? Us. They want the group that is opposing their agenda. Us. Or the Healing Hands. Healing Hands. Let's give it to them. Let's broadcast a Healing Hands manifesto, if you say, over the mandatory broadcast system. Coming from one location. It certainly work as a good diversion. I would work as a good diversion. And, and give the information that we know the Fire Drakes or the Council. It's my, my hunch that it is the Fire Drakes that have now infiltrated the Council. And are aiming to take over. Because we know that the Fire Drakes want to use the AI program to supplant... The council. Just as Healing Hands wants to, but for different purposes. Yes. Give them the information that they have. Go ahead, and since we're leaving the city anyway, out our names to the general public. Then they will take it seriously that this broadcast is legit. I like it. That's the diversion. It's a good diversion, certainly. Question, would that diversion work going through the side entrance? So wherever that entrance is, we broadcast from some place opposite, opposite on the other side of the city. So 
But if it's a guard post, I don't know if we'll still be able to uh, get through. I mean, the, the guard's not leaving the post. Or even, right. even if But we... I'm just saying it's going to draw... Majority of attention. Any okay. other first response to an attack somewhere away from it. I like the plan. This could work in, for the healing hands, too. Also for the general population. They, they deserve to know. They do. And healing hands needs to get back to the way it should be instead of what they're doing now. You're still wearing, wearing the helmet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's never <laughs> taking it off. You're going to have to pry this off my cold, dead head. Uh, this, this is not coming off. Archie can help you with that. All right, Archie. We've been awfully silent about this, which worries me because of, honestly, full disclosure, you're elemental. That's powering you right now. Sarani said it. That elemental was not meant for you. That elemental spoke as if it did not want to coexist. Which, according to Sarani, that has been the objective of the elementals that power androids is to coexist. So the elemental powering you would be the opposite faction. The subjugators. Who am I talking to right now? Archie? Nidog? Huracan? Which one are you right now? What does Sam see when she looks at Archie? You see status Project Vertiginous Hybrid. There's an overlay on Archie that's swirling blue and red. Did I see that on anybody else? If you looked at Jer, you would have seen a blue. I have not looked at Jer. Okay. And I've looked at three you've people. Seen, you've seen Bear or Katari. Uh, have you Have you looked at Katari while wearing the helmet? Yes. Uh, so there was a multicolored overlay on Katari as well. Okay. So I just see a blue and red swirly. Does it look like one color is dominant or? It looks like it, it's changing in saturation. Sometimes blue is stronger than red. So it's Some, pulsing back yeah. and forth. Okay. Bier, come. Hmm? Is it time to go? It is time. And I would take that off if I were you. Who is speaking? I do not tell information to irrelevant people. <sighs> irrelevant. Obviously the wanted posters say otherwise. I think we're all pretty relevant. Probably the most relevant things in this city right now. Council sure wants us. What's left of them? Time is running out. Be air, we must go. Be air. Yeah, really. Okay. I'm talking about what? The kid, bear? Bear? Is it time to go home? Bear? Who, who's talking right now? Is this Archie? Is it not? Where are you guys going? I go with talking Bo about. Gosh, here we go again. Archie, you... Archie, Archie. Yes? Did you hear anything I said like the past five minutes? Talking about your evil plan, whatever that was. What do you think about it? I don't care, let's... Seems like you know what you're doing, let's just go! Do you know that you were just another person right now? Ten seconds ago? Another person? Yeah, you were acting you really weird. You called the kid B. Air and said it's time to go. Yeah, what's and that you said you don't speak to anybody that's irrelevant. Do you know what's going on with you right now? Wait, back up. Be, be air irrelevant? Who, who's irrelevant? Uh, apparently, apparently I'm irrelevant is all what you us. were saying to me. Bear said something about asking if it's time to go home. The so bear. Uh-huh. Where's your home? Home. Home. It's where the creatures are. The animal preserve. As Sarani said. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're trying to do, so... Alright, let's go. Is that where Archie's from as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we met there. Now, I remember now. Okay. Alright, we already know that Sarani said Archie's elemental is sick and is shouldn't be... wasn't meant for his model anyway. Right. So... Let's plan this out. Plan out exactly what's going to happen. 
I think the coal could do this one some good. Okay. And with that, we're going to go ahead and call it a session. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Bone Thrower Theater. Thank you for listening to Bone Thrower's Theater. Our cast is Aaron, Ellie, Jeff, Jeremy, Johnny, and Jordan. We are releasing this podcast under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 3.0 unported license. That means you can share the podcast, but please do not modify it or try to gain financially from it. If you would like to visit our website, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater.com. If you'd like to send us an email, you can do so at bonethrowerstheater at gmail.com. Our Twitter handle is bonethrowerstheater. You can also look us up on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And until next time, may the bones fall ever in your favor. This has been a Nerd Circle podcast production.